What is beamforming? When an access point antenna transmits to a group of subscribers, it generates a beam in a specific shape to cover those subscribers. The shape of the beam is determined by the amount of gain the access point antenna has in various directions. The higher the gain, the further the beam reaches in that direction. Signal energy is sent from the access point antenna in this shape, with all subscribers within the shape receiving signal energy from the access point antenna. The subscribers use narrow beam widths to transmit signals to the access point. When the access point antenna is receiving data transmitted from the subscribers, it is listening for signals within the same beam shape as when it is transmitting. When the beams from the subscriber and access point intersect, the access point can hear the subscriber receiving its data. This means that signals at the same frequency as the access point and subscribers that enter the access point antenna beam shape can interfere with signals from subscribers, causing data loss. Uplink beamforming mitigates this interference. The access point forms a narrow beam which has high gain in a specific direction, rather than across the wide angle used in conventional systems. This narrow beam points towards the subscriber the access point wants to receive data from, intersecting with the subscriber's beam and receiving its data, whilst at the same time mitigating interference from interferers because the beam formed by the access point has low gain towards the beams from the interferers, deafening the access point to their signals. As the access point wants to listen to other subscribers, the beam from the access point is formed in a direction pointing towards the subscriber of interest, again mitigating interference from interferers. Downlink beamforming solves another issue with conventional systems. When the signal energy from the access point antenna is spread over a wide angle, the total signal energy the antenna is able to generate is spread over that angle. However, when the access point antenna is transmitting to one subscriber, it would be beneficial to focus that signal energy into a narrower beam to provide a higher signal level to the subscriber. In a similar manner to uplink beamforming, the access point antenna forms a narrow beam pointing towards the subscriber of interest and uses this beam to transmit data to the subscriber. This can provide a higher signal level to the subscriber, improving network performance as the signal energy is narrowly focused as opposed to the wide beam in a conventional system. Through uplink and downlink beamforming, a wireless system can show vastly improved interference tolerance and system gain, with only changes to the access point and access point antenna required. Find out more here.